Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are experiencing a car won't start problem, or maybe the car cranks but won't start, this video is for you. Nothing is more frustrating than trying to start your vehicle and the car refuses to start. Or in the worst case, you get that repetitive brrrr cranking sound, but the engine won't catch. These two problems are known as no start and crank and no start. A no start issue means the car won't make any sound or movement at all when you try to start it. On the other hand, a crank and no start issue is when the engine turns over, cranks, and makes a whirring or brrrr sound, but doesn't start fully to run. With these problems, it is common to assume that a dead or weak battery is the only reason for these problems. However, there are other common causes, like issues with the ignition, spark plug, fuel delivery, or even air intake. In this guide, we'll walk you through the main reasons a car won't start for each case, even if you recently changed the battery. And we will also share tips to help you troubleshoot each to save yourself some frustration the next time this happens. So let's get right onto them. First, let's look at the common reasons for no start, no crank, no power situation. When your car won't start and isn't making any noise, it's often due to a power problem. When it comes to power problems, here are the common reasons and a checklist of what to look out for and how you can tackle them. Dead or weak battery. This is the most common cause of a no start issue. But if your battery was recently changed, then it's more likely not the reason for the no start problem. However, if you have been using your battery for a while, it might be advisable to check if your battery is drained or weak. In this case, you will notice a dim dashboard. Batteries usually last around three to five years, so if yours is older or you most likely have noticed a slow engine performance, crank, or no interior lights prior before now, this is an indication that your battery needs replacement or recharge. Talking of charging, it could also be an alternator if your battery is not charging as you drive it. Watch this video here, which I will link on the card how to identify an alternator battery problem and how to fix it. Next up is a faulty ignition switch. If you turn your car keys and notice your dashboard lights flickering with no noise from the engine at all, then the ignition switch is likely the problem. The ignition switch is responsible for sending the signal to start the engine, so if it's failing, the car won't even attempt to start. In this case, you'll likely need to have the ignition switch checked and repaired or replaced. This video right here gives you more insight on resolving ignition switch problems, so be sure to check it out later. A starter motor failure could also be the reason for no start issue. And for this, you will hear a single click or a series of rapid clicks when you turn the car key. This means that the starter motor is bad or damaged. The starter is what gets your car engine moving initially, so if it's broken, the engine won't crank at all. Testing the starter motor will confirm if it's the issue, and if it is, you'll need a replacement. Here is a video on how to start your car even with a bad starter. I will also link it in the description box below and the card. Coming up next is blown fuse or relay problems. Fuses and relays control the flow of power to various parts of your vehicle, including the starter system. If a fuse related to the starter is blown or a relay is malfunctioning, the engine won't start, and you won't hear any cranking noise as well. So you've checked all the boxes above already, and this could be the possible reason for the next no-start situation. Checking and replacing any damaged fuses or relays linked to the ignition and starter system can help restore function. Now let's move to the common reasons for a crank and no-start problem. This is often due to issues in the fuel delivery or ignition system, aka the spark plug, or air intake, and the engine timing. These entire processes are all essential to getting your car started and running. If any of them malfunction, the car might crank but fail to start fully. Fuel delivery issues. So if fuel isn't reaching the engine properly, the car can't start. And in this case, the car might crank but won't start. A common cause is fuel pump failure. The fuel pump is responsible for sending fuel from the tank to the engine. If you don't hear a faint humming sound when you turn the key, the fuel pump might be the next reason for C. It could be a problem with the pump itself, the fuse, or the relay that powers it. Replacing the fuel pump is often the fix if it's no longer working. Another fuel issue could be a clogged fuel filter. Over time, the fuel filter collects dirt and debris, which can restrict the flow of fuel. When this happens, the engine might crank weakly or struggle to get fuel, preventing it from starting. In this case, replacing the fuel filter is usually the solution. Next is the ignition system, which is what sparks the engine to life. Faulty spark plugs are a frequent problem here. 
If the spark plugs are worn or damaged, they won't ignite the fuel properly, leading to rough cranking or no ignition at all. Replacing them with new spark plugs can resolve this issue. Watch this video for how you can replace your car spark plug. Another part of the ignition system that can go bad is the ignition coil. The ignition coil provides the high voltage needed to create a spark. If it's failing, you'll get an inconsistent or weak spark, preventing the engine from starting. Replacing a faulty ignition coil is usually the way to fix this problem. Air intake issues. The engine also needs a proper mix of air and fuel to start. A dirty or clogged air filter can block airflow, causing a weak fuel-air mixture and reducing engine power. Checking and replacing a clogged air filter can restore the right balance for ignition. Similarly, a failing mass airflow MAF sensor can disrupt the air-fuel mix by incorrectly measuring airflow into the engine. If the MAF sensor is dirty or faulty, the engine might crank but won't start. Cleaning or replacing the MAF sensor is often an effective fix. Engine timing issues. Lastly, the engine's timing could be off. The timing belt or chain controls the timing of the engine's valves and pistons, ensuring they move in sync. If the timing belt is broken or misaligned, the engine will crank without proper combustion. In this case, the timing belt needs to be inspected and if damaged, replaced to get the engine running smoothly again. Here's a quick troubleshooting checklist for your car that won't start, whether it's not cranking at all or it cranks but won't fully start. Step one, check battery voltage and connections. Start with the basics. Look at your car battery and make sure all the connections are tight and free of corrosion. Look out for white or greenish deposits on the terminals. If you have a voltmeter, check that the battery shows at least 12 volts. Step two, listen for the fuel pump. Turn the key to the on position without starting the engine and listen closely. You should hear a soft hum coming from the fuel pump under the back seat or near the rear. This means your fuel pump is working to deliver gas to the engine. If there's no sound, the fuel pump could be the problem. Step three, check the fuses. Fuses control various parts of the car, including the starter, fuel system, and ignition. Find your fuse box, usually under the dashboard or hood, and check if any fuses look burnt or broken. Replace any damaged fuses with new ones of the same rating. Step four, check for spark. To start, your engine needs a spark to ignite the fuel. Remove one of the spark plugs and inspect it for wear or damage. Look at the ignition coils too, as a faulty coil can prevent the engine from starting. Step five, check the air filter and MAF sensor. A clogged air filter or a dirty mass airflow MAF sensor can mess with the air fuel mixture, making it hard to start the car. Inspect the air filter and replace it if it's dirty. If you have tools, try cleaning the MAF sensor carefully. Step six, test the starter and alternator. If everything else seems fine, it could be a starter or alternator issue. The starter turns the engine over and the alternator keeps the battery charged. Testing these parts may require a mechanic, but it's good to know they might be the cause. If you've checked all the above boxes and your car still won't start, then it may be time to consult your professional mechanic. By the way, if you find this video to be helpful, then you probably might be interested in this other video here where we show you cars never to buy based on consumer feedback and reports.